Welcome to XR Template Tutorial Lesson Number 25. And this XR Web Designer 7 Premium Tutorial will be going over how to add a title, keywords, and or key phrases, and a page description for your web pages within the XR Web Designer 7 Premium document. So if you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new page in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. And another reason that we're going to go over these different uh, things that you can add to your website is because this is information that your client or end user will see when they search for your website on a search engine. They're going to see your title of your page and they're going to see your description. They won't see your keywords though. That's with the exception of the keywords. They won't see that. But the keywords is important because the keywords or key phrases that you add are what people will probably most likely type in Google. So if you added the keyword, you know, cookies for holidays, you know, or somebody typed that into Google, cookie for holidays, they could find you potentially, depending on the competition for that keyword or key phrase. Or if you don't add the term cookie for holidays, then they can't find you under that term because you haven't added it to your list of keywords or key phrases. So let's go ahead and open up your web properties because that's where we're going to add this information. And But before we go to the, the web properties, I'll show you what page we're on. By default, you should be on the index page. And this is the page that we're going to be changing the title and the description and the keywords for. So make sure that you're on, you're on the index page. You're, I guess it really doesn't matter because I'm just going to show you the general idea of uh, where to add this information so it doesn't really matter what page you have selected at this point go to your utilities options and when you go to that and it brings up the drop down menu you're going to go to the option that says web properties and if you left click on that it'll bring up your web properties menu and we're going to go to your page tab okay and when you click on the page tab here it'll bring up all the information related to your page that you have currently selected which in this case for me would be my index page if you go to the page and layer gallery you'll see that I only have one page which by default will be your index page but in in these web properties the first thing that we're going to change is the page title and the page title let's say let's assume that we're selling cookies so we would write in here cookies for holidays would and you could probably write the name of the company you know maybe you could write cookies for holidays sold by you know the cookie company now maybe that's not the best title you know but I'm just making this information up as I go but in the case of your company you may have your company name in there and you know a small snippet about you know what your company does. It's just a simple title that is related to your page description. So once you come up with your page title, you go to page description and then you'll describe the kind of content that they will find on this page that we've created in Web Designer, which in, like I said in this case is the index page. And you would just go on the page description and you would write something related to the content on the page. And you might write, we offer numerous recipes for cookies for special holidays you know maybe maybe you maybe you offer special cookies for holidays and that information is on the first page and you might also offer some other things maybe you also sell cookies so you can say in addition to recipes we also sell organic cookies with no additives for the health conscious people and again this is just fictitious information so you know you can ignore the lack of quality in this page description it's just to demonstrate again how you would add this information. I wouldn't make a super long page description 
and, and actually to be honest I wouldn't make it longer than what this box size is but you can you can make it longer but I would I would try to keep it kind of short I think filling this at least filling this whole box would be a good idea but not like overdoing it and having like three paragraphs in here it's just a small description that they'll see on the front of the search engine and they're not going to want to read through too much information they want it simple short and straight to the point so now that we have a page description and the page title you would go down to the option for page keywords and it says comma separated and what that means is for each keyword that you write or a phrase you need to have a comma right after it just like you would you would in, in regular English if you're making a list you know things that you were saying in the sentence you would use commas to separate that those things or different options so in the page keywords you might write since we're selling recipes or we have numerous recipes you could write recipes for cookies comma cookies you know just the word cookies by itself because you are selling cookies but you also offer organic cookies so you could write organic cookies as a key phrase and let me let me just describe what the difference between the keyword and key phrase key phrase has multiple words for example this first first is thing I have written here is a key phrase recipes for cookies but the next term cookies is just one word so that would be considered a keyword not a key phrase and organic cookies is two words so that would be considered a key phrase so just wanted to give you a quick understanding of what the difference is between the two and you might add some other things you might add cookies with no additives and I don't know if I spelled that right so don't mind if I did or not didn't you know you might add uh, you know recipes for holidays and you know it can go on and on you can come up with different ideas of how people might look for this type of information so always keep in mind how do you how do you think people will look for your information when they use the search engine and I, I think in this case they would write recipes for cookies or cookies organic cookies cookie with no additives recipes for holidays these are all realistic things that they might actually type in the search engine and once you're done with that you would just hit apply and then if you're done making all your edits you would hit OK at the bottom as well and once you do that you're done and if you go to the page and layer gallery you won't see any changes happening to your page because this stuff that we just changed is stuff that happens on the back end and it's more so for the search engines more so than you know helping someone on your website you know to, f to have this information it's more so for the search engines but let's go ahead now that you know how to do that I want to show you on the Google search engine how this would look you know assuming that you've already submitted your website with this information in it I want to give you an idea how that will look so go to your your current web browser that you use doesn't matter In this case I use Firefox so I'm gonna open that up and I'm already at google.com if you haven't already type in google.com in your address bar up here at the top or wherever yours is located and once you go to google.com go to their search box and type in you know cookies or cookie cookie recipes actually so type in cookie recipes and then hit enter and when you type in cookie recipes up here at the top and you go down to the search results you'll see that there's text that's blue and this first example this blue text says cookie recipes hyphen all recipes dot com and that's the title of of this particular page for their website just like we added a title and the web designer software for Xara and the next part you have is the description and that's the black text here and it says looking for cookie recipes question mark all recipes has more than 4600 trusted cookie recipes complete with how-to videos ratings reviews and baking tips so on this particular page you'll have access to this type of information it's just giving you a general description it's not actually writing the content that's on the page but it's giving you an understanding of what kind of content is on that page 
and if it's relevant to you or not. So those sort of two things that you would would have in terms of what you would see in the search engines. You would see the title, which again is the blue text, and the description, which is the black text. The keywords is the stuff that we typed into the Google search box.